Welcome to some more sad adventures of the scrap life. Another day in paradise. This, my friends, is the scrap life. It sounds like it's out of fuel. Nope. Not at all. It's like everything else. Oh, look at this nice this ice that we're having. This ice storm now. Everything is super slick. Welcome back to my crazy, crazy ass shop. Move these things in here. It's all number two copper. So I think that's what that bucket will be for. Number two copper. Everybody joneses over the copper. That's what I've noticed. They see copper and then they go nuts. I have no idea. I'm in desperate need of a magnet. Looks like nuts and bolts of some kind. That's aluminum. Something. Lord only knows what it doesn't pull you. Toss that in there. This looks like brass. Brass with ice. A little brass pile going in there. This is probably breakage aluminum, but we're gonna snook. We're gonna sneak that. We're gonna sneak that right, right inside there. Break this up. Could be the plastic bin. Well, it takes this crap, but Lord only knows, right? I think this is steel. Mm-hmm. That needs to be broke down a bit. 
little piece of copper here. <coughs> Broken tool. Yeah, tools everywhere. No idea whether this is stainless or not. Put it over there in that pot here. This is probably brass. This brass. That scrap. I have to take the faucet end off of this, obviously. Or they'll ding me. They'll call it breakage. They're within their right, I suppose. Even though it's aggravating. That's a chunk. Chunk of brass there. This is brass too. There's a transmission seal. A little scrap. This is breakage aluminum. It's a water pump. And this is probably stainless. Toss it over there. A piece of aluminum. Oh boy, do I have cabin fever or what? I mean, I can't even think straight. There's like so many, there's like I got like a million different things I gotta do. So much. You know, they could be brass, could be stainless. I have no idea. A couple of people commented, hey, you need a workbench. Yeah, I got a workbench. Look at it. <laughs> it's a monstrosity. It's uh, like everything else that I got. <laughs> totally out of control. How the hell does the scrap and pallet man do it? He he claims he has ADHD. I have that in the epic form, but he doesn't have a Ashburgers, which is what I have. It's really a it's like a double whammy. Makes it really hard to do stuff. Not only can't you concentrate, but I don't know. It's a different way of looking at things, I suppose. That has a piece of copper. A piece of ice on it. Okay, you're all watching what I just did there. I <clears throat> Like he gave up on the pile right there because it was starting to aggravate me. But I have a whole life of that. I work on it and I gotta walk away from it. Cause uh, it starts getting overwhelming. And then I, it's no wonder that I end up with little bits of stuff everywhere. It's a wonder that I make money There's a split in the video because my freaking aunt just called again. She put it on airplane mode. 
so they can't happen but and she's probably gonna talk about her freaking toilet <sighs> she wants me to go and take a look at and repair okay so it's like totally shifting gears she lives all the way in the ghetto in the city <clears throat> Chicago I hate driving anything there it's really uh, it, I hate that place all right I know I, I'm not trying to offend any of you guys that live in Chicago but I just I'm tired of the place <clears throat> The further you can get away from that place, the better off you are. My kid likes it. My son. I I can't stand it. That's why I get as far away from it as I can. Well, not too... F I mean, wait. <clears throat> not so far that, uh, you know, making a living is impossible because... People are like, whoa, you should find a place in the country somewhere. How the F am I going to make any kind of money? There's nothing there. I, I'm not a wilderness person. I wouldn't do well in the wilderness. Not really. That's not really the ideal setup for me. I'm, I'm a scrapper. I'm, a, I'm dependent on people's... Uh, Stuff that they throw out. I know I seen that little other piece of crap over there. There we go. Oh, there's one more left behind. One more piece left behind. You know, you get a bucket like this. It's amazing you get a bucket like this. Yeah, you might be depending on the price. You're probably looking at if you got a pack solid, you're probably looking at maybe hundred and fifty dollars worth of copper. And the thing about that is you could actually be like a scrap vulture and you could ride a freaking bicycle <laughs> to the scrapyard if you really had to. Because <clears throat> you couldn't stack $150 worth of scrap metal uh you know like steel onto a bicycle but copper or brass you certainly could if you were skilled at it i think that's my opinion what do i know i pooped by that there's a little piece of brass right there Okay. I know. Well, we cut down on the pile there. That used to be a little higher there, huh? I'd like to clear this out in here so I can get my truck inside. Throw some heat on. This is the original intended purpose, anyway. And, uh, I don't know. I can't fuss with it too long because. I can't wait to get going out there and picking up scrap on a regular. I've been finding little bits and that, and I'm posting videos because I'm trying to show everybody it's not going good. Kind of rough, man. That's all busted up. I should uh, pick that apart. There's like 10,000 things going on here. An old guy came by with some bananas the other day and left them up there and forgot about them. Gave one to my kid. They're no good now. It was kind of a waste. This is what it is. There's always so much going on that you end up forgetting about stuff. Yeah, let's see. If I could cobble together a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. I won't have to drive my truck to the scrapyard because I can hear like the I can hear the power steering fluid getting on the on the fan belt and it's making it squeal 
And when it does that, it produces heat. If it heats up enough, it will break or come off of the pulley. Yeah, and it's a serpentine belt, and there's only one belt, so that powers the water pump, the power steering pump, the alternator, you name it. And uh, I'll be stranded by the side of the road. I have to get a tow truck. That costs a couple hundred bucks. There goes all my scrap money. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. My mind is constantly occupied with like trying to strategize <clears throat> my next half hour, my next hour, my next two hours, the rest of my day, the next day, the next week. And it's like weather forecasting. You know, the, the further out I go, trying to like um, figure out a plan, the more inaccurate it becomes. This stuff is copper. I mean, not copper. It's looking like copper. It's copper coated, but it's aluminum. So, in the pile there. This dingbat made the mistake of, uh, well, I was just doing it for a video, but I didn't scrape the. Yep, even the voice is broke, see? Look at this Mr. Sensitive. This, this Harbor Freight brand or wherever it came from, because it was on this, it was on this workbench when the guy gave it to me, when I had the storage locker. See, when I go and spin it out, it worked for about a day. He had it for five years. I have it for one day, and it doesn't slide back out when you go and twirl it like that. You gotta move it manually. It's like every freaking thing I own. Works, works kind of, but it's definitely broken. So where does that fit on the to repair list? <laughs> I don't see anybody else on YouTube with the, with the shit score that I got. I was like everything wrong. But <laughs> oh, wait a minute, there is one guy. There, I'm not gonna mention. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not gonna mention his uh, YouTube name. You guys probably figure it out. But holy for, <laughs> almost were there. Yeah, that guy is. He's got troubles, but I think they're like poverty problems, or they're caused by. And caused by addictions and stuff. So he's got an excuse. Me, I don't got an excuse. That guy's got chemical addiction, so he's got an excuse. Okay? So he gets a he gets a pass. I don't. Okay. I'm walking around looking for a hammer, you know. Everything like it like it ever would happen. Well there's this new uh this new YouTube guy, well, he, he's an older guy. I don't know, 75 or 80 years old, whatever the hell he is. And, uh, God, I can't think of his name right now. Um, he's saying that his 47-year-old daughter takes his tools and stuff like that and scatters them about and loses them. <laughs> that and the kids. Well, that would be me. I don't even have to wait for my kid to throw them around like they did. I could just wait for myself to come along and do that. There we go, here's a hammer. See, I need like about 50 freaking hammers everywhere. Like one there, one there, one there. You know, a couple over there. The <laughs> so at least there's like something, I don't know, I said myself nuts. <laughs> Now listen all you little leaguers, don't do things like this. And there's somebody else. God, man, I gotta have to do a little better job of remembering <clears throat> these folks that uh, are showing. I'm gonna go mention their YouTube name. Then I'm gonna go and forget them or uh, have a brain freeze. That's not fair to them. Please. 
He's using a vice too, but um, he flipped it around and still used a vice where he didn't have it sideways like I do. He turned it around and pounded on the metal on the steel part and then the copper part popped right out. Instead of doing it the way I'm doing it. We kind of started out doing it the way I'm doing it, but when it came to removing the copper, he's got a different technique, which is definitely superior to mine. I think I washed it about five times. Damn it, if I can't remember, I think it was like this. I think he did it like this, which is definitely a superior technique. It's just that I want to do it with the thing standing up. I, I'm I'm like stuck with that in my head. I don't want to do it this way. I got to train myself to to want to do it this way. Look at this. His way works a lot better than mine. <laughs> right? I think we'll all agree on that one. I'm not so big that I'll say, Oh, I've got a better way of doing it. <laughs> no, he's got a better way of doing it, and this is pretty much his way, I suppose. I think, I don't know. I don't know if I got it too tight or what. I'm going to have to watch the video again. Had it. Of course he was holding on to it. I'm holding on to the camera. So that's why it's not working as well. The habits just uh, won't die very, they die hard. I, uh, I turned it around and I'm doing it my way again. <laughs> that's aluminum, I can tell by the way. I don't know man, he had it working and that, man, if this thing didn't just fall apart on him, you know, it totally works. I, I really struggle with learning a new way. Even if it's like way better than the way I'm doing it. I have a... Uh, And that's aluminum too. Well, we told you you're supposed to scrape it. Nah, I know. I'm making a video. So. Yeah, my bad. So, very seriously. <clears throat> Not some solid steel here. You know, I'm gonna put that in the bucket or something. If I put it in that barrel, it's gonna make that barrel weigh a lot. There's a banana peel in there. I'll put that with the scrap. They can have a banana peel along with the plastic. There you go. There's a little more order going on here now. Okay, there's another piece of aluminum. That was worth nuts. <laughs> Look at that. Now I can tell just by looking at it that that's copper. Okay, just by looking at it. See, it doesn't have any scrapes or anything on it. Oh, they like that. You can tell it's copper. Just by looking at it. Look how red that is. Put the camera down. It looks kind of shiny, like it might be aluminum. I might be wrong. Uh-oh. 
I'm wrong on camera. Don't you have a file, Scrap Kingdom? Yeah, I got a file somewhere. God only really knows where it's at. Now that one's copper. That one's aluminum right there. Copper aluminum. But they both look like they were copper. They really fooled me. Boy, you're a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not the smartest guy around. Don't be listening to me. You'll be all... Now, I've never seen anybody work like me. So I don't think anybody will. We're in no danger of that. We're in no danger of somebody working like me. <clears throat> oh, you should see this magnet thing that um, YouTuber Ian Matthews did. He's some older uh, British guy. He's got like a little shop inside a shed. Man, I would get lost in that little spot for days if I was in that thing. <laughs> There's like <clears throat> so much interesting stuff in that thing. And I'm struggling to use a vice. And he's like making this electromagnet out of uh, out of um, these transformers and some scrap wire. He had like blue and yellow wire. And he had them all wrapped around. And I watched the video twice and I still can't quite figure it out. <clears throat> he had like a, a welder or power source or something like that to generate the juice. He had some angle iron metal and he was putting it on top of it. And, and it's trying to pull it off and it was like it was like a the metal was stuck to it with like little ugh, like the most powerful glue like gorilla glue or something it was kind of fascinating to watch all righty <clears throat> what i need is a tool to take that off and like everything else let's see the drill is lost i need a drill God knows where that's at. I need uh, drill driver nuts. God knows where they are. They're probably on the dash of my truck. Oh, there's the drill. I walked right past it. I'm a yo-yo. Listen, listen to that battery almost dead anyway. <clears throat> yeah. What size are these, I guess? No idea. Boy, I can see why you don't get anything done. <clears throat> you keep walking back and forth, and you don't know what you're doing there. No, I, my mind is on the moon, man. <clears throat> it always is. <clears throat> Maybe this is the right size. You spend more time walking back and forth. Yeah, I do. That's always been the case. Yeah, power tools and I can't find any of the right shit for it. Batteries are dead. Can't find the nut drivers. I'd have to go back to Harbor Freight Tools and go and buy more new tools. Because... I really don't have anybody else to blame but me. I end up scattering them out and losing them. Only to find them like months later, like rusted or... <laughs> oh, God. Well, it's your life there, you know. If you really want to make money, you don't seem like you're really interested in making... I need to make money. <clears throat> The problem I have, I 
if I say if I say I look normal, people will go, <laughs> you don't look normal. Nah, okay. Um, it's not something like, oh, wow, yeah, that guy, oh, yeah, he's handicapped. Oh, you're just making that up, Marty. No, I... <laughs> Nobody wants to believe it, so... You know... Except my one aunt. She's like, wow, I know you had a learning disability, you know. I'm like, okay. When you were born... I'm like... No, nothing like that. Okay, somebody would have said something. Yeah. Nope. <clears throat> There's something in there smells. It smells like um like an old wet bag or something like that, like plastic. <laughs> it's more plastic. This is so much fun. See, you see what's happening to me right here? I'm pulling on this handle both ways. <clears throat> I should know what loosen and tighten is. But for some reason, after all these years, I still struggle with like which way is to loosen. Duh. Okay, that's loosen. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. But you know what? When somebody says go left, I'm like, uh, left. Left. Oh, okay. That's the way this, this is side the steering wheels are. Oh, okay. It's like people are like, go left, go left. I'm like, okay, all right. I just figured out which way the left was. It's this way. <laughs> it's, it's that's nuts, man. Yeah, you know, live that day. Live like that every day. It's very, it's very tiring. And uh, cover up the fact that there is a problem like that. It's very draining. So I, I might as well just come right out and say, you know, hey, I have problems like that. And then people are like, oh, okay, yeah, right, you got problems like that. Well, you guys just seen that, and I left it in the video. I'm not going to edit it out. I'm pulling on the handle both ways. Because... After all these years, after working on cars and all kinds of other gadgets and stuff like that, I still don't have myself second nature trained to know which way left is, right is, loosen and tighten. It's like I have to figure, it's like going out a door of a store, you know, <clears throat> fire code, okay? Fire code, see I know this, fire code says that the door has to go open, out, has to, unlike this building here, because this doesn't have to have the same fire code a commercial building has, but you know, you go to a convenience store, the door to exit cannot open inside, it has to push out, okay, but, yeah, and even though it says push on there, and guess what this idiot does? He pulls on it. I'm pulling on the door. And then, the, you know, you look behind, there's already, like, you know, usually two, like, hot girls or something like that. And they're like, <laughs> we retard. I'm pulling on the door. And then you gotta, like, fake it, like, you know, like, I don't know, maybe you had, like, a hand cramp or something like that. And you're like, <laughs> I'm a freaking idiot. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Okay, yes, but I struggle with that. I think I did that three times today. I pushed out, of, you know, it's a push door. Push. Push. P U S H. Learned it in Sesame Street. Okay, but I'm pulling on the door. I, da, 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 da. Family guy, da, 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 da. I don't know. I don't know why. I just struggle with those kind of things. So I struggle with that I struggle with like like little kids struggle with like well they don't struggle with it but they're they always make that mistake like gold and silver they call silver gold and gold silver I still do that to this day I mix them up I don't know why left and right struggle with that push and pull struggle with that 
Le lefty loosey, righty tighty. I struggle with that. So when people are observing me, they're like, um, what, what you, they're like, what are you doing? Come on, let's go. Well, what's going on is I'm trying to figure out which way is tighten and which way is loosen for the like hundred million thousand time. All right, enough of my yapping. I'll put it on another video. Probably just equally as exciting. Ooh.